Okay, so this is another stretch variation that I've been using lately in classes. The clients really seem to like this stretch. So just a different way to stretch. So we did low bar on one red and one blue. I'm going to start them in the all fours position. So you could do this after your inversion exercises. Usually the, the time that we do our foot on the bar stretch, you can just replace it with this one. So right foot comes forward. You're going to press your chest into your leg. Okay, so that back foot is braced up against the shoulder pad with the toes forward. Okay, you're going to feel the stretch here, and then you're going to start to lengthen out. Now, some people who have really tight hamstrings are not going to be able to extend the leg completely. Your more flexible clients will be able to extend that leg. If you're feeling really flexible and strong, you can have them bring their hands down to the wood frame, only if they feel secure here. Okay, if they're really tight and struggling, don't have them bring the hands down to the wood frame. So if they can bring the hands down to the wood frame, hold it for two breaths. And if they're feeling really strong, they want even more of a challenge, more of a stretch, that back leg is going to extend. So it's almost like you're in a split position here. Breathing, don't hold your breath here. You gotta stretch, get the oxygen flowing into those muscles. Then you bring the leg down, how you get out, you bring the leg down, you bend the knee, then you bring your hands back up to the foot bar first, and then you lower down, do the other side. Same thing, chest into the leg, lengthen, hold it for a few breaths there. If they're feeling strong, bring it down to the wood frame, only if they have the flexibility and the strength that they can lift that back leg. Really intense stretch for the hip flexors and the hamstrings. All right, that's your new variation on a stretch.